guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Fitzgerald Genesis in Clearwater, Florida. And guess what? We have it. This is a 2020 Genesis G70. This one with the 3.3 liter twin turbo V6. But before we dive into this, let's talk a little bit about Genesis history. Real short and brief, Genesis has only been around since 2015, if you could believe that. Originally, Genesis, the Genesis sedan, was part of the Hyundai lineup. Hyundai wanted to follow in the footsteps of Honda with Acura, Toyota with Lexus, and Nissan with Infiniti and come out with their own premium brand, and that's where we get the Genesis. Now, 2019 was a big year because that was the introduction of the G70, and you know what? It was so good that it won North American Car of the Year. What I want to do with this review is I want to bring up the question, if you want a luxury sports sedan and you don't really care too much for the name badge on your car, should you go with the Genesis G70 or should you go across the street to the sister brand Kia and get a Kia Stinger GT because guess what? They're both on the same chassis. But with that question already posed out there, let's dive into this 2020 Genesis G70. Right off the bat, the styling, especially with this metallic blue, really pops in the Florida sun. You can see what they did with the headlight design. I'm gonna zonk the interior. I wish they would have blacked out the interior of the headlight housing, but on the interior, looks drop dead gorgeous. All LED headlight, daytime running lamp, and turn single. We drop down, guess what? You have more exterior lighting and functional side air curtains. A little bit of gloss black, a little bit of metallic gray here. And as we come across that really brand recognizable grill, you look at any Genesis, whether it's the G70, the G80, the GV80 coming out, it has the same grill design. Nice, bright, chrome finish to it. If, you know, if you're wondering, well, what's this panel here? What they did was is they blended all of the technology for the laser and sensory technology for adaptive cruise control and stuff behind this plate and then use the same image to kind of make it all blend in nicely. You do have a forward facing camera. We drop down, a little bit of flat black, that's gonna channel some air in, a little bit of a low lip extension here that's also flat black. My only zonk is that you have these two non-functional vents. Why did they do that? Functional, functional, non-functional, so that's gonna be a zonk. But overall, very, very clean design. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you can see the Genesis badging. It's a little bit of Aston Martin, a little bit of Bentley, but oh, so good looking. Nice body lines that kind of curve towards the A-pillars, very, very nicely done, and really gives the car an overall great feel. Now, when we come around the bend, check out what we have for you. First of all, you're looking at a 19-inch wheel. These are wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport four tires. That's going to give you some nice stick. It's also going to give you some nice durability, but the bigger news besides the sexy looking wheel with the machine aluminum and the dark gray metallic, four piston bright Brembo calipers. They're going to squeeze those over 13 inch rotors that are ventilated and really slow down and shed speed of this GS, uh, excuse me, this G70 uh, to give you not only performance underneath the hood, but also that braking and handling performance. Now, as we go down the side, you do have a vent here that is non-functional. I am going to zonk it. And to be honest with you, it would have been nice if they kind of used some dark chrome or something rather than the shiny chrome. But it does break up the sea of just regular sheet metal. I'm curious what that would be like if it, if it did not have that, that fake vent there. I think maybe I wouldn't miss it. Going into the side mirrors, you do have color match mirror caps. Look at the way they take the chrome off of the window frame onto the actual side mirror. You have your built-in turn singles, and then you're gonna have a sunroof. The zonk is, why didn't they black out the back portion? They did the front, they left it color matched on the back. They should all be black, make it look a lot cleaner, a lot more cohesive. There's that chrome brushed aluminum trim around the windows, gloss black in the center. We keep working our way back. You can see the belt line, nice, low body line on the doors and even the way the sill down there kind of extends out just a little bit 
Gives it a nice, sporty, aggressive look. Remember, this is rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive fun on the same chassis as the Stinger GT. When we get to the back, it would have been nice to have a trunk lid spoiler. Just a little bit of a kick up. There's your 3.3 twin, remember this has a twin turbo engine, LED lighting. You do have trim rings, but there is functional exhaust back there. And guess what? This is actually functional rear diffuser, so we're not gonna have to zonk that. Nice dark gray metallic with a little bit of chrome matches with the front, the G70 badge. I think from an outside styling standpoint, obviously beauty is going to be in the eye of the beholder. I personally would go Stinger GT, but still this G70 is looking really good. Let's pop the hood and see what's powering it. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You can see the aluminum bracing that they put at the front end of the business. Underneath the hood is a tasteful engine cover. You'll see the word turbo real, real bright in silver there. What we have is a 3.3 liter V6 twin turbo charge engine. 365 horsepower, 376 pound-feet of torque. It's all routed through an eight-speed automatic transmission. And guess what? That differential out back is a limited slip differential. So that's gonna help us get the traction. Zero to 60, 4.2 seconds, quarter mile and 12.8. Top speed, 155 miles an hour. MPGs, 18 in the city, 22 on the highway. And this car weighs around 3,800 pounds. Like I was saying, compared to the Stinger GT, you have the same exact power plant, same rear wheel drive setup. Why don't we go ahead, let's fire it up and see what this Genesis G70 sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Genesis G70. I know you're at that point, you're like, Joe, this car is sexy. It won the car of the year. It stole my heart. It won my heart. How much is this? You're looking at an MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, right at $50,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now, I love what's going on there, and I love it even more than the Stinger GT. Soft material across the top. Love that brushed aluminum finish, especially over the speaker covers. And check out the diamond stitching. That right there really elevates the feel, the fit, the finish, the contrast stitching. You do have a small pocket there for a bottle of Mountain Dew and maybe a couple like supersized chocolate cookies or a brownie or two, or maybe even a nice soft large pretzel. That sounds good right about now. Soft material, the silver trim is great. Nice stitching up top. You have your eight inch infotainment system screen. Now it is basically the same screen setup and it is an iPad style. It doesn't bother me except that I wish it was just a little bit wider. I wish it was lower and a little bit wider just to kind of blend it in a little bit more. But you do get your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We go into our menu screen right here. Real easy to function through. You have that swipe feature. You do have navigation, of course. You can get in your climate control. Very nicely done. Look at that. That's something that looks like it's right out of a BMW and Audi. Stitch work is beautiful. Start, stop button. A little bit of this metallic black here. That's a gloss. And then as we drop down, you have your controls nice and slim. A little bit of silver trim. Ventilated seats, heated seats, and heated steering wheel. If you don't want to do AC controls on the screen, you could do it all right here. Very easy to get to. Let me throw it into reverse show off our backup camera we have 360 backup you do have trajectory which is wonderful and then you could also touch the screen to get different angles which is a nice touch look at that super clear out the back put it back in the park we drop back down look at this nice touches all soft material doesn't feel plastic and this is where i really like the infotainment system more this whole center console than i do the stinger gt open up door number one you have wireless charging a usb and aux jack and a 12 volt we close up the lid this is going to control that eight speed automatic transmission i love the silver you have your drive mode selector knob which is great comfort eco uh, smart and of course sport you have your electric e-brake two cup holders it's the finishes that really stand out in the genesis mm, not soft on the armrest but the stitch work is great you open it up and you could probably put about eight Twinkies in there and there's a USB key fob. 
not really the sexiest key fob. It's about the size of an old Samsung phone, flip phone, but there's your buttons on the back. I do like the key fob better of the Kia Stinger GT for sure, um, but still tasteful. Seats though are just gorgeous. The leather, the nice soft material, diamond stitching, even the piping is great in here. Power assist, of course, for the passenger and the driver. And you have that standard size sunroof with the Alcantara material, which is great. Yet on the Genesis, just like on the Kia Stinger GT, you don't get a frameless auto dimming mirror. This thick plastic just, it just kills the look when you're looking out across the hood. But other than that, plenty of room. I'm six feet tall, plenty of room, feel good in here. Coming over to the business end, I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Genesis G70. All right, guys, business time. You do have two memory seat settings. Love the Genesis script down here on the sill. Look at the pedals. You have a nice, large, brushed aluminum dead pedal, your brake, and your throttle. Seat controls, easy to get to. Power lumbar, that feels oh so good. Steering wheel, love it. Love the thickness. The 10 and 2 notches, nice soft leather. The stitch work, the perforated edges here. You do have paddles that go up and down the 8-speed automatic transmission. They are on the smaller side. They're a little too inboard, and they're plastic, so that's a triple zonk. I just knocked it right out of the park with a triple zonk. Horn button, though, is tasteful, like the Genesis badge, the silver, flat black on the buttons, and then your dash is really straightforward and super clear. So you have analog tech, analog speedometer, fuel gauge, and coolant gauge, all backlit LED, and then watch when I go into the different modes. What I like is you don't have to look at the knob. See how it displays it right there for you? And when you go into, like, say, for sport mode, then it turns everything red. You could then also toggle through all your different information. There's a cornucopia, your lane keep assist, all that good stuff. You have a head-up display, just shows your speed and your lane keep assist, but it is nice to have that extra feature. Other than that, feels really good up here. Let's check out the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna like the G70. All right, guys, back seat time, and this is really where the Stinger GT wins uh, when it comes to back seat room on the interior. Getting in and out, it's a little tight. I didn't move my seat back or forward, and look how much space I have. For six feet tall, not a lot of leg room. The good news is I got plenty of headroom, which is nice. Backs of the seats are plastic. Good if you have kids. If you're single, it just looks cheap. Same with the cargo net. The European cars have it, so I guess that makes it okay for them to have it on the Genesis G70. You do have a USB and two AC vents. And of course we have a nice armrest. Semi soft, it's softer than that armrest, but I like the way they do the nice finishes on the cup holders. Flip it back, but it is tight back here. Let's go ahead though, let's check out the trunk and see how much room we have in the G70. All right guys, time to check out what kind of junk we could fit in the trunk of the G70. It's real simple, you're gonna push the button, it's gonna raise up for you, nice electric assist. Opening is nice and wide, and you know what? For a sport-style luxury sedan, you do have a pretty decent amount of room. You're looking at 11 cubic feet of space. This is where the Kia Stinger GT, I think, comes out on top once again. Not only on back seat room, but also with the Kia Stinger GT, it's more that sport back design, where it's a hatchback, where this has your standard trunk. I think you're gonna have more usable room on the Stinger GT, but why don't we go ahead Let's get to the best part. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this G70 for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the Genesis G70. We left Fitzgerald Genesis in Clearwater, Florida. We have it in sport mode right away, just like in the Stinger GT. It's really comfortable in here. And I'm telling you, if you haven't been in the Kia Stinger GT or Genesis G70, you need to treat yourself because it's gonna blow your mind what the two brands are bringing to the table at this price point. Now, what I do like about being in the Genesis G70, looking out over the hood, very unique design. A lot more unique than the Stinger. Gives you a little bit better reference point as you're driving. And I'm gonna say it once again, when you're looking around, the level of material finish and the fit, it just seems a little higher in here. Even though they're same price point, even though they're on the same chassis. Visibility out the back, Super clean, side mirrors look great. You have the head-up display and just a really welcoming place to be. It, it uh, really just shows how far Genesis has come in such a short amount of time. Let me go ahead and get on throttle, show off the uh, V6 with the eight-speed on throttle. Drops down and we're off and running. Real-wheel drive fun, look at that. 
brakes, time to slow down. You got those Brembos, they shed speed very, very quickly. And I also like the very quick steering feel that I have. Being in sport mode, that's one of the things that gets adjusted is steering feel. Let's see how she handles. So I'm gonna brake hard for this right-hand turn here on the brakes. Feels good, back on throttle. Look at that, I like it. I like the sound coming into the cabin. Could be a little bit gutsier, if you know what I mean. A little bit deeper of a sound, maybe. Um, and that was the one thing on the Stinger GT, same story. I, I want these cars to have an active exhaust to where if you want it to be a little louder, you can have it louder. But if you want it quieter, you could do that too. Now, with the G70 being a newer design, I was expecting it to have some type of TFT display for the gauges. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see if the Kia Stinger GT, when they redesign it for 2021, are they gonna go in that direction, like something on the K900 or the Hyundai Palisade. But super smooth, very quiet in here, which is great. And once the road gets twisty, this car will surprise you on how it handles. All right, guys, here we go. Let's do another on-throttle acceleration. Here we go. Spin out the back just a little bit. I'm telling you, that's where you get the enjoyment. If you've been living your life behind the wheel of a front-wheel drive car the whole time, you need to get behind the wheel of a rear-wheel drive car. Having the ability to pivot the rear of the car under throttle acceleration or when you're coming out of a turn just invigorates the whole driving experience and actually allows you to go down that twister road, that twistier road with more confidence. Everywhere you look in here, it's easy to get to whatever you need. And what's nice is if you want to use the touchscreen for your climate controls, you could do that. If you want to use the switch gear, you can do that. The only people I'm a little concerned about in this Genesis G70 are the people sitting in the back, just because it's a little tighter. Now, there is a bigger bigger Genesis model. You could go G80, but then now we can't compare apples to apples with the Stinger GT, because the Stinger GT would then be too small. We're trying to keep it at that you know sport luxury sedan that's around mid-size category. Remember, this would be a competitor to the BMW 3 Series or the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. But the ride is very, very nice and comfortable, and when you want to turn up the wick, it allows you to do that, and you feel in control, and you feel confident, and you're getting it at a price point. Yes, the MSRP is 50 grand. I'm telling you right now, you really got to work hard to pay the 50 grand. You should be getting this car for less than $50,000 out the door when you purchase one of these. And I'm telling you, you're getting a lot of car for the money. And all the things from the past you think about these cars are out the window. Watch this. On throttle. Here we go. Swinging out the back a little bit. We're on throttle. We're off and we're running. That's what these cars are about. That's what they're doing now at Genesis and at Kia. And I'm telling you, they're changing the name of the game. They really are for the price point and what you're getting. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of just how does the G70 stack up against the Stinger? I'll leave the link to the Kia Stinger GT that we recently did that's at the same price point at the end of this video so you can get a taste of both worlds. But we're gonna get back to Fitzgerald Hyundai and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, been another wonderful day here at Fitzgerald Genesis. Definitely got to thank Rob and the rest of the crew getting us this 2020 G70 with that 3.3 liter twin turbo engine. You get it. I get it why this car won North American Car of the Year. And it's so interesting how I'm torn. I feel like I am the rope and I'm in a tug of war between the G70 and the Stinger GT. Stinger GT, I like the exterior a little bit more. I like the driving dynamics a little bit more, and I definitely like that usable space underneath the hatch. The G70 though, the interior, the materials and whatnot, really elevate the level over the Stinger GT for that quality feel, fit and finish. So it really is one of these things where it comes down to what's gonna make you happy. At the end of the day, whatever you choose, whether it's the Stinger GT or this G70, when you walk away after you park from it, if you don't look back 
to take a look at it, you made the wrong choice. But if it's cars like these on Rady's Rides that you want to keep seeing, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Rady's Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Rady's Rides merch. Got to get it up to sweaty Big Guns McGee. He's about to take off his shirt and make a lot of women very happy here. So stay tuned for that. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.